These are the five hidden sales weaknesses. The first one is non-supportive buy cycle. What does that mean? That means your own set of beliefs are, is stopping the buying cycle. <laughs> it's a non-supportive to the buy cycle. You're getting in the way. It's your own personal process for making a major purchase. If, I'm sorry, your own personal process for making a major purchase influence how you support the buying process. What does that mean? Think about how you buy things. Your buy cycle is different than the person across from you. How you buy stuff online, how you buy services, how you hire companies or people or, or coaches, how you decide to buy a course is different than how I might decide to buy a course. Raise your hand if you're fairly impulsive and if you see a hot course, you're just buying it. Raise your hand. Not a lot of you. How many of you think about it or discuss it with somebody first, maybe look at reviews? How many of you, it takes you a little while, like it's a week or two and you're like considering it. Look at that. These are different buy cycles in the room, right? If you like to shop around, this is an aha for a lot of people. If you're the type of person who likes to shop around, do your research. Check out reviews first. Ask for references first. Check on references. Do you know how many people ask me for references? None. Do you know how often I ask for references? Never. But that would be a good answer. Because some of you are like, I do ask for references. So I understand why they're asking for references, Joe. And that's the, that's the stuck state. This isn't my biggest sales weakness. But it's some of yours. For some of you. I'm gonna, I'll show you mine in a minute. Th this is a big one. Think about this. You're, then you're more likely, I put a lot of words up here because these words are really important and they're profound if you understand it. Okay? When the prospect, prospect says, I have to do more research. Or I have to talk to five or six other people. Or I need to talk to maybe a couple of your existing clients. It makes sense to you. Like that just seems normal, right? Some of you are like, I don't want to admit that, but that does sound pretty normal. That's what I would do too. Right? And, and allow them, you allow them to do it because that's how you are. I've even had people say this to me. Well, I love them. I mean, they want to, of course they want to research and have testimonials because that's how I am. Like, well, that's your clue. That's how you are. You're accepting of it. Here's some symptoms that this is something you're suffering from. That's me when I had the flu early in December. Timeline to buy, shopping competition, buying from the cheapest deal shopper. You know how many people have messaged me and are like, Joe, I can find your course for $37 online now. I'm like, yeah. And those are the people that have never paid $1,000 anyway. And guess what? They won't find clients that will pay them $1,000 or more either. Right? Buying from the cheapest decision. How many of you, I mean, come on. Be honest. You don't have to raise your hand. How many of you like deals? You weren't supposed to raise your hand, really. Admit that. Jeez, Christmas. That's just, this is not. We have severe problems in this room. That's, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you like deals. Guess what that means? When someone, you, you, You're going to have clients who want deals from you. They want like to negotiate. Do you have any clients negotiate price with me? I have, I have had a couple try. I actually recently did have one. And he actually messaged the company back, not me, although he did meet me in the first meeting, but he messaged the company, I think it might have been Colton, and asked for like two or three hundred bucks off so he could also pay for a certain resource that we'd recommended. I'm like, no. Right? Now, in 2011, absolutely I can do that for you. Would you be willing to sign today if I can get that done? Sound familiar? Stupid sales tactics. Right? Now it's like, do you really think that two or three hundred dollars, that two or three dollars makes a difference, you don't understand what I can do to help you. And also, if I gave that two or three hundred dollars, you should be concerned that I can't help you. That should be a red flag that you're even asking that. 